Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can open and close our Electron applications from other windows by using global shortcuts on Windows, Linux, and uh, Mac. So let's get started. All we're going to need for this is the main process and a module that comes prepackaged with Electron called Global Shortcut. Now, this module will allow us to register and unregister um, handlers for shortcuts. So let me show you how that would work. So you do global shortcut dots, and you can see the IntelliSense is telling us there's is registered, register, and unregister. And we can do something like register, and what does it take in? It takes in an accelerator. And you may be like, what is an electron dot accelerator? Well, if we go into Google quickly and just paste this on in here, what you'll see is an electron dot accelerator uh, for the documentation. There we go. Um, what you see is the electron docs tell us that an accelerator is basically just a combination of keys on your platform that basically tell you what to do. So, for example, if we want to listen for the command or control key, we just put in command or control right here. If we want to listen for command, control, and some other key, we would just add a plus sign like they do right here. For example, they're listening for command and control Y. So let's say our shortcut to open and close the app is going to be command or control plus, and we're going to listen for the number, eh, let's do the number zero. So when we hit command or control, plus the number zero, we'll run this function right here. And what are we gonna do? Well, we're just gonna console.log, hello, the shortcut was used. Now, this is not gonna work. And the reason it's not gonna work is because the global shortcuts can only be registered once the application.ready has been fired. So I am gonna quickly run it, just so you know I'm not lying to you or anything like that. But what you can see is global shortcut cannot be used before app is ready. So I just wanted to show you that so that you know uh, what that is and why I'm moving it into here. So here we have our commands. So we can now restart the application and what you'll see is nothing will really change. But if I hit the commands um, right now, if I hit control zero, you can see in the console over here, we're getting a whole bunch of hello, the shortcut was used and that's perfect. Now, I did tell you for this, I wanted to actually close and open the application. So let's implement that functionality so you can kind of get some ideas for what you might want to do with your own shortcut keys. Now, to show you, this actually works even while the app isn't in focus. You can see while the app's in focus, it obviously works. But Sam in Visual Studio Code or some other app, does it still work? Of course it does. I hit Control-0 in here and it will work. And let me actually show you how we can open and close the application now using this. So we can do something like if main window dot is, is visible, which will just return true or false if the window is visible to the user. We're just going to say main window dot hide. So if it's visible, hide it. Else main window dot show. So this is literally all we're going to do inside of our shortcut. And watch what will happen. If we restart the application, it'll open and close by hitting Control-0. So you can see, I'm just hitting Control-0, my mouse isn't moving, and we're opening and closing it. Now if I come over here to Visual Studio Code and hit Control-0, it still works. And that's great. Now one other thing I'll show you, um, just so you can kind of get more and more ideas into your head with what you can do with some of these Electron features is what if after 10 um, uses, it actually disables the key permanently, AKA it just removes the event listener. So what we can do is just have a count. So I'll just say um, used is equal to zero. And we'll say if used, what we'll do is if used, sorry, is greater than uh, nine or is greater than or equal to 10, what we'll do is we will say global shortcuts dot unregister. And what does it take in? It takes in that accelerator. So we have to pass in command 
or control plus zero in this case. So I can do this and it'll unregister this event after um, 10 uses. But before we do that, we are gonna have to do used plus equals one just to get the, the value to actually increment. There we go. So now when I restart the application, what we should be able to do is use it 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what you'll see is I'm doing it, but it's not closing it anymore. And the reason that is, is because we've now gotten rid of the event handler, which is good. So if you found this video useful and you want to learn more about Electron or other tutorial stuff, please like, comment, subscribe, and also possibly join my community Discord. Um, it's very new, but uh, it should be fun. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.